What's up guys, Al ran a cat here, the only Wesker man that's actually just a little guy. And today I'm talking about Stabiffle. Stabiffle is a perk that I see on Wesker a lot, and it's not good on him. Stop using it. Stop using Stabiffle, that's, that's what I want to say. Instead of using Stabiffle, use Brutal Strength. Seriously, genuinely. You should not be getting value out of Stabiffle unless you are, like, playing the character wrong. You for the most part should be m2ing like all of the time i feel like if you're getting eight stacks in a game as wesker you probably you've probably messed up along the way and i don't really honestly know why people use it on him because it's genuinely just i never get value out of it so in order to prove once and for all that stabiffle is not a good perk on wesker not at all i am taking otofu's trademark scientific method of determining a perk or add-on strength by playing two games. The scientific method is two games. If you do two games and you know you get the same result those two games, clearly 100%, that's 100% a fact. There's no arguing anymore. It's scientifically proven. Except I'm playing one game with Stabiffle and one game with Brutal, and we're going to see which turns out better. That's it. All right, to be perfectly honest, I don't know why I decided to send myself to auto. I just think it's like a standard map. But also, even if I didn't, one of the survivors brought an auto key as well. So would have been going here anyways. I see a crow over there. So I know somebody's over there. Somebody's over here. This is the corrupt area. So I'm actually going to go after this person because they're closer to the non-corrupted gens. Oh shit, there's actually somebody at Shack already. Okay, so one person here, one person there, one person at main. I assume maybe two people at main or two people here. What's up? Um, okay, well, first stack, easy. Why did you do that? Are you okay? Plotet? What the fuck? Okay. Um, I will say, that's not usually how chases go, but it did display something that I think is basically the main reason why Stabiffle is not good on Wesker. And it's that... I fucked up. Fucked up the hug, I could have hit her. It's that uh, every single chase you take, you should be infecting people. You should M2 them at least once. And if you're not doing that, you're like missing out on a lot of valuable slowdown and uh, time. I'm actually just gonna have you drop this. I'm just gonna break it. I'm gonna play somewhat more optimally than I normally do. See, look, I, I two-tapped her with my power. I two-tapped her with my power. I didn't even get a chance to get an M1. That's another thing. If you're having good chases, you really shouldn't be M1-ing much at all. Like, I m 2 her both times, and it would have been way faster than me trying to get any sort of like, the stack out of her. I see Vito over there, but I also don't really care about him. Okay. The easiest way to get stacks is honestly just to, um... Like, camp a hook and uh, hit the unhooker twice. But, like, that is not the best way to go about it. Okay, okay. She's being a little cautious, right? I'm not gonna like throw for any sort of hug tech play. I'm just gonna play normally. And again, I hit her with my power twice. And it would have been way easier than trying to get an M1 at that tile. Like, there's so many tiles in this game that you can play with your power that you just can't play with an M1. And I can't believe that most of the Weskers I go against as Survivor are bringing Stabiffle and trying to M1 at these really strong tiles that they just can't M1 at. You go into the window? <laughs> that is one of the rare times where it's actually kind of worth the vault. A lot of the time, another thing, people really, like, value vaulting a bit too much. Okay, he thinks I have another dash, even though I just used two. The survivor's got to pay more attention to uh, people's cooldowns. Okay, right here, I could M1 him for stacks, or I could M2 him 
for infection. I'm gonna choose stacks over infection, but in the long run, the question I'm asking, is that worth it? I don't think so. I think it is. it would be way more worth to infect him so that he has to waste more time, like, spraying. He can't just get immediately back on the gen after getting on hook. Oh, hi, Jake. Oh, I thought you would juke. Oops. He did not. He kind of just ran at me. All right, right here, I don't have my power, so because I don't want to lose stacks, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to wait for my second token to come back so that I have one to follow up with. Rude. I was trying to get a throw, and he he, I, he did move. I thought he would just kind of stand there to take a hit, but no. You're very strange, actually, Jake. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's so weird. Okay, he's very, very strange. I don't, I don't understand this man. He's a goober. Okay, and here's another thing. Chasing the obsession is... Honestly, I'll say, not that, oh, damn. I did not go anywhere with that. Unfortunate. Is that you are you so have? strange. He is, he's so fucking weird. I, you're having is psychotic. I don't understand. Like, what, the way you loop things is so weird. Like, here's the thing. Even if he was not the obsession, if I'm trying to, like, have good chases, I probably would have just done the exact same thing, except when he was body blocking. Like, at that tile, I would have played the same. Uh, I would have definitely just M1'd him out in the open, though, because that's not really worth wasting all that time for. Especially since I just <laughs> missed for no reason. Hi. Look, we're only at five stacks, and, like, half of the hooks. You know? Oh. She didn't vault the window. Nice. And I messed up a hug tech. It wouldn't have resulted in anything. I don't know why I'm going for a second round hug tech. It's when it just won't work. Okay, I'm gonna go around here and then you're into the corner. You don't really have anywhere to run. The window's blocked. You're just kind of trapped down here. Actually, you have a pallet right there for some reason. <laughs> Like, right there. How am I going to get an M1 at this tile? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. That's how. You will not. <laughs> like, I'm never going to get that by just going for stacks. And you're never going to learn to do that if you just play with Stabiffle every single game. And just don't use your power because you want to build up stacks. It is, like, genuinely so harmful to your growth. For, like... Use a perk like this. Okay. I'm gonna wait right here. And again, I could not possibly get an M1 at this dial, mind gaming. But you know what I can do is just M2 him pretty easily. Well, <laughs> unless I mess up. I got uh, stuck on the corner a little bit. <laughs> I say pretty easily and then I fuck it up, of course. And yeah, now I have to break it. And uh, he did not go to this tile. You're very strange. I don't know why. And she repressed alliance that gen for some reason. Okay. Very weird. Gonna fake that break. And then I can catch up with an M2. And again, I don't... It's uncertain if I can even get an M1 on this guy. Like, I don't even know if I can get a stack off of him. Realistically, would I be able to? I don't honestly think so. Jake's on that gen right there. Here, I'm gonna break this. No, he's not on that gen. He's on the gen back there. Damn, they are definitely doing gens. I'll say that. Because I was uh, fucking up my earlier chases. <laughs> Dead luck has both these gens blocked. Uh, I guess it'll be unblocked in a little bit. So I might stick by here and kick the gen. This is actually a situation where Stabiffle will come in handy, because I am going to camp. I am going to sit right here. When somebody comes for the unhook, 
Yeah, I'm gonna M1 and then follow up with an M2. And they die. Like, that's the goal of people using Stabiffle. I know people use save in order to get, like, that interaction right there, that hit, where you M1 into an immediate M2. But the problem is, it took me all game to build that up. All game to build that up. I only just now have enough to do that. If I had Brutal Strength instead, every single pallet I've broken so far would have been broken faster. And all of my chases would be shorter. Also, Egg is the best fucking add-on. Holy shit. Yeah, Jake's going back to the gun. Alright, let's try to 4k here. What's up? Uh, I am gonna M2 you. I mean, M1 you. Because I don't really care at this point, right? You disappoint me. I need to slug in order to get the uh, 4k here. I do want to go for it. I probably should have been playing a bit more seriously. Oh, there we go. I see you behind the rocks. But like, this entire match, I got six stacks. Oh. I... Okay. I thought she was going to panic vault the window, but she didn't. I don't know. It, it's just... I feel like I got no value out of this perk at all, except the one time when I chose to use it to tunnel Vittorio. And like, I'll say, I will say, Stabiffle, really good perk for tunneling. If you just want to sit in front of the hook, you know, M1 into an M2, go for it. It's great. It's a great, <laughs> great way of doing things. But I just feel like if I had Brutal Strength, this game would have gone a lot differently. Like, I would have probably gotten the 4k before the gens were done because I would have had a fourth perk slot. I would have had a perk that's doing something. Because realistically, even... That's a lucky hatch spawn. Even without Stabiffle, could I have tunneled that Vittorio? Probably. I probably could have. I probably could have killed him, like, not quite as fast, but still pretty fast. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta turn off the filter so I don't blind you in the endgame screen. Let's see what we were working with. Uh, three made for this is, okay, dead hard. A healing build, syringe, brand new part. Very nice. Also, the obsession, Jake, he had dead hard. If he was better at using it, then that would have been really annoying to deal with, actually. Like, the obsession having dead hard or, like, off the record just makes it way more annoying to, like, go out of your way to preserve stacks at times. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really feel like Stabiffle just did nothing. And this is how I feel every single time I use it. I rarely end the game with eight stacks or even get up to eight stacks, period. I like, for the most part, get up to four or four, five, or six, like max, every single time I use this perk. I've never understood why it's so popular on this killer. Okay, well, now let's try the game with Brutal. Let's go again. Okay, um, this is weird. We got Gas Heaven again. That's very strange. I actually played another match before this one, and the matchmaking was kind of bad. I got, like, a baby Rebecca, and so I didn't want to use that. But it was also on Gas Heaven. This is very strange. What? What is this luck? I'm not complaining. Damn. Unlucky. What's up, Megan? Uh. What's up, Vittorio? Okay, I'll chase you. You're not going to a pallet? Oh, you are not. Okay, right here, I, I should actually go for an M1. He's around like a round little object right here that would be hard to get an M2 at. But right here, and go for an M2, obviously. Holy shit, dude, what the fuck is that gen speed? Oh my God. Just How did you do that? How did you do that? I mean, you definitely got a brand new part on that thing, or I don't know, this game is just bad. Oh, she juked. 
very late. Whoops. I aimed for a juke and then she did it, but like a second later, unfortunately. Thank you. You okay? Your looping is very strange. You're, you're pathing, I mean, not looping. Not really looping much yet. Okay, uh, I was gonna say something. Oh, damn it. I'm not extremely used to a uh, unicorn medallion. I will say, I do not use this uh, add on much. You disappoint me. Is that the best you In fact, I basically make it a point to never run it. So, even though I don't, I don't know what that plan was. Okay. Guess they're trying to get a prediction save with a firecracker. Those are loud as shit. I don't know what that. I don't know. I kind of want to go to this gen actually, because I know Meg's over here. What's up? I think that would be slightly better for me. Okay, so matchmaking does seem much, much better, I'll say, so far. Damn, I aimed too far to the right. I had to give it a little less. Okay, you got lied. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I was definitely saying something and then straight up forgot. Okay, well. Brutal strength. Wait, are you... He ran... Oh my god, he's running into me. Well, maybe I spoke too soon about the matchmaking. Too bad you won't make it okay, well... Three of them seem alright, at least. That's more than half. Okay, I'm gonna break this while I'm here. Uh, Rebecca's probably getting the spray right here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's unlucky. She kind of ran right into me without realizing. Oh my god, bro, you do that so fucking early. I'm not even anywhere close to it. Why do you do that? What? He just vaulted into me. Oh, you fucking psychopath. What are you doing? You absolute weirdo. I'll pretend I'm going after Vittorio and then not. Okay. Okay. I was gonna, like, maybe pretend to go after the Rebecca, depending on how things worked out, but... Nah, everybody's strange. Okay. You, come here. Or you. I could just you too. I think I can M2 you here. Yeah, I get this. Yep, yep. I was gonna say, you're gonna get hit through it. You got 160 ping. Yep, yep. Is he right there? I'm not getting an M I'm not getting an M1 there. How many times have I M1 to this match? Because uh I don't think it's been eight. I don't think I would have max stacks to Biffle yet. I don't think I would be even close. It's probably like twice or something that I've M1. And I am trying to like keep my chases efficient. Okay. Rebecca's dead on hook, but I'll try to make the game a bit harder on myself and uh, try to spread the hooks out. <laughs> Very nice. What the? Are you trying to flashbang? Okay, I guess I'll just kill you, Rebecca. Sure. I was literally, I was trying to be nice. I literally said it. I'm trying to spread out the hooks, but they don't want me to. They would prefer she get tunneled out. Very, very unfortunate. Uh, I can't really play around that. I should have just put my power down, to be honest. I don't know why I didn't. Are you just sitting here? <laughs> Using the spot again. No, I'm not. I messed it up. I'll just M2 normally then. Because again, I'm not going to get an M1 at this tile. Okay, well, I shouldn't get an M1. I shouldn't be getting an M1, I should say. I, I should not be. You shouldn't be messing up that bad. That's real... Alright. Oh, okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> She's waiting at the corner, so I'm not gonna do the. I'm not gonna do the jump. Yeah. Again, I'm trying to like fit through here and get a throw, but I keep messing it up. Really, you're not dropping that? Again, how on earth would I M1 her here? Like, I've already M2'd her, right? So I should be going for like a stabiful stack if I had the perk. But on what planet would that ever work out? Okay, right here I would get some stacks. I'll, I'll admit that. I don't... I guess he's trying to go next. I think he's just... Um, trying to die because he wants to go into the next game with his duo, uh, Rebecca. I'm assuming they're a duo because they have the same perks. Where are we going, Felix? What are you planning? You gonna vault this? You gonna vault that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about the matchmaking in this match either. Unfortunately, it seems very questionable still. I don't know. I mean, what can you do, right? Like, not like I can just keep playing forever until I get a comp team or whatever. <laughs> That's not really an option. Either way, I still did get a lot of brutal value. I definitely did. I had to break a shit ton of pallets. Like, I don't know, five or something. That's basically a shit ton. And that's basically a ton, right? And, you know, in comparison to the last game, I feel like the survivors were pretty close, right? Like, eh, they might have been a bit goofier. The Felix, in particular. But, like... <laughs> She's not gonna let me get that. She had... Her. She needed me to watch her leave, though. Again, I don't know why the Rebecca... Yeah, the Felix should not have been in this lobby. Bro's a self-care, lithe, windows, botany knowledge gamer. He seems very, very new. That is unfortunate. And, yeah, the Vittoria and uh, Rebecca were probably together because they were doing the same things. Egg? Egg. <laughs> what? Alright, so that was a game with Stave the Best for Last and a game with Brutal Strength. And, you know, the game with Brutal did turn out better. Whether or not that's because of the perk uh, or because of the matchmaking, we got, like, some goofy Felix in the mix. Uh, but either way, I'll point out that neither game I really got value out of Stabiful, or I would have if I had it. The Brutal Strength game, I would have barely gotten any stacks at all. And the Stabiful game, I really only got value out of it when I decided to tunnel the Vittorio. And I also ended up semi-tunneling a Rebecca in the Brutal game anyways, and it turned out equally fine. You really don't need Stabiful for, like, any reason. It is really fun if you use it with, like, Walkie or Uni, and you just M1 at A stacks and instantly catch up with an M2. That is fun. But you're kind of throwing the game in order to build those stacks up. You really should be focusing on using your power and getting better at your power so you can end chases faster and you don't need, like, the crutch of Stabiful literally, like, decreasing the distance survivors gain. And if you do want to chase perk, I would recommend Brutal Strength, obviously, because it's, I would say, much better, way more consistent, and it helps Wesker deal with a lot of his bad maps a lot better. Like, if you're going to get the game as Wesker and everybody's pre-dropping on you, how are you going to get Stabiful stacks at all? It's not going to help you. But Brutal will. If you get Borgo, you're probably not going to get M2s, let alone M1s, without breaking through a ton of pallets first. And Brutal just helps speed that process up. Brutal is amazing. I think I think if, if you're a Stabiful user, like regularly, I think you should question how much value you're really getting out of the perk and how much it's actually hurting your growth as a player because genuinely i feel you would be better at wesker if you never m1 if you like took 50 games 
of M2 only Wesker, I think you would improve on the character significantly more than if you brought Stabifle and just played normally without trying too hard for stacks or trying too hard for M2s. Of course, it's not optimal to always go for M2s, but it's also not optimal to always go for M1s and always go for stacks. That's the point I'm trying to make here. I think the perk is very overrated on this character, as well as a lot of others. I think it's really good on M1 killers, like, I don't know, Doc. It's really good on Slinger, it's really good on Pinhead, it's really good on uh, Clown, of course, and Trapper, even. It's pretty good on Spirit, honestly. Kind of underrated on Spirit. Spirit with uh, Stabiffle, Rapid Brutality is insane. But I don't think it's good on uh, Wesker. I don't think it's good on Wesker. I really don't. And I see it so often on him, I find it crazy that people use this perk and believe it to be good. I don't know. What are your thoughts on Stabiffle? Let me know. Do you like Brutal? Do you like Stabiffle? <laughs> what team are you on? Uh, I don't know. Do you think the perk actually harms the growth and development of Wesker players, like the improvement of them? Or do you think it's just like a passive bonus thing? It really isn't that big of a deal. It, 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 who cares if it's that bad? You know, who cares if it's not a great perk on him? It's still pretty good, right? I, I can see both sides of it. I just wanted to make a video because, I don't know, it's kind of fun to talk about. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you want to watch me play Wesker live, you can watch me on twitch.tv slash And, uh, see you later.